Hi there! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this rather funky looking device. It's a screw punch, and you'll find it very helpful in creating lots of possibilities in your jewelry making. So this is a screw punch. It's a rather intimidating looking tool, but once you understand it, it's actually quite simple to use. And it works really just the way the name sounds. It's got a screw action, and by screwing through a piece of metal that you insert in that slot, it punches holes. Now this particular screw punch makes two different sizes of holes. It makes a one and a half millimeter and a 2.3 millimeter hole. But when would you use this? Well, let's say for example you have a piece of metal that you want to add some additional holes to. Here's this flower pendant that was purchased, already made, but let's say I wanted to add some more dangles to it. I could add more holes down here. Or here, for example, is a really cute bird charm, but let's say I wanted to add some interest. You can see on this one, I've added a hole on this wing so that I could dangle beads or something and give even more of an illusion of flight. These steampunk gears come flat without holes, and maybe to attach it to something you want to add holes. And so I've punched these two holes in either end, and you could certainly add more. In this piece, you'll see that there are pierced holes all around the inside edge. And they're just for decoration, except for this one that holds a jump ring. So perhaps after making a metal piece, you decide that you want to do more you can add those with the screw punch. Here are some little charms and they're really cute just as they are but if you added another hole, a matching hole on the other side you could string them together as links like a chain. So it really just opens up possibilities. Again here is a, a wavy washer from House of Gems and it's really cool just the way it is. It's interesting shape, but you could definitely expand on the possibilities by being able to add holes to the edges that you could add jump rings or chain to. So let me give you an example here. Here's some more charms by House of Gems. These are stamped brass with a pattern, and perhaps I had in mind to make these into a pair of earrings, which I may do someday by having one hole up here that would be the top, and then having a series of holes down here to string dangles from to get a rather Bollywood look. Well, let me show you how it works. First of all, it's a good idea to use an ultra fine point Sharpie marker to mark where you want your holes. It just helps you to be more accurate. So let's say I'm going to make three in this so I've just made my little marks with my Sharpie. And I'm going to do the smaller one and a half millimeter hole. So what you do, you can see this little wing here and just turns very easily with your finger. You want to screw it down so that it's just a little thicker than the thickness of the piece of metal that you're going to be piercing. Then you pop your metal in and that, this is where those Sharpie marks come in handy. And I like to hold this. I know it's designed, this little wing helps stabilize it, but I like to hold it in my hand so that I can see exactly where I'm putting the screw punch. And you want to take your time and position it exactly where you want it because there's no changing it once you've made the hole. So once you get it in place, you can just tighten down that screw and it will hold it. And then you just keep tightening down and it'll get hard to pu push. And you just keep tightening and suddenly it pops through. And you've made your hole as easy as that. And then just back it out, pops it off, and then you can pop out your little bit of metal. And you have your hole made in your piece. So when you're making jewelry and you need more options for stringing and dangles, consider using a screw punch. 
You'll find it very easy to use and quite useful.